I saw what you did last week. I was there. I saw everything. You're in big trouble. Whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> Are you talking to me? I know that you're calling one of my sims, but are you talking to me? Look, I realize I realized that Barb almost died in a fire, but I fixed it. I fixed it. Hang up. <laughs> Leave me alone. I didn't do anything. It was an accident. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. Now, recently, things have been, like, especially nightmarish. Um, if you missed the last episode, we sort of had an incident where there was a fire and one of the kids died, but luckily, I pleaded for them and they're back, like, it's fine. But for a brief moment there, I really did think that Barb was going to die for real. And also, somehow, the Grim Reaper is still here. This happened, like, hours ago in-game. At this point, I've sent everyone to bed and I was gonna try and like speed through to the morning, but I can't speed through because the Grim Reaper is still standing in my front yard and he won't leave. Uh, so that part's a little bit alarming. It makes me think that like it's glitch. I don't know if you can see, but it keeps like going back to one time speed and he won't go away. Like despite all of my attempts, he's just there. I, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I've reloaded the game. Like I, I don't really understand what's happening. Maybe if I reset. Oh, I hope I didn't make it worse. I might have made it worse. Oh God. What if my save is like completely bugged because of this? Can anyone talk? to him. One does not plead with death before the reaping, lest ye be reaped. So he thinks that he's here to reap something, but like nobody's dead. So I don't know what he's doing here. I reloaded again. Oh my god, and he's still there. Should I just like let it happen? I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just keep playing like normal <laughs> and pretend the Grim Reaper is not in the front yard. Look, I got a bunch of plates to clean up. We can like do the dishes while they sleep. We had all this family over last night and none of them helped clean. It's actually quite rude. I made you dinner, you came over, you spent hours at my house and you just left a giant mess on my table. Okay, I think I fixed it. We should be okay. I'm beginning to grow a little bit concerned. I think it's been like 12 hours now that he's just been out there. Um, so do you think it's the chicken? Oh no, don't sell. Cause it keeps popping up saying the chicken is like going to die soon. So do you think that he's here like with a glitched chicken death maybe? If I put the chicken in my inventory, then it can't die. Betty is forever. <laughs> oh, I think my Sims are like crying in their sleep. I think it might've started speeding up for the first time. Oh my God. God, now he's crying in the bathtub. I'm sorry. It's fine. He's only upset about the holiday. And I will say, I, usually I would be annoyed at them for thinking this, but it was a terrible holiday. Like Barb literally died. <laughs> So you're allowed to think it was a bad holiday. That's fine. I, ca I can't really argue with that. Everybody else is kind of ready to get up. So I guess we could probably all get a move on with the day. Do you think Grimm's here to like wait for Anna? Cause she's cheated death for so long. Oh my God, she's gonna be an elder in four days. Oh, I don't really want Anna to die. I can't really imagine a world without her given that like, you know, she's been a ghost for so long and then she was like alive again for so long. <laughs> I can't really imagine like, Anna not being here, but this is fine. Oh, I can graft onto these. Oh my gosh. Okay, as soon as you finish this, we'll have to do that. Hurry up. He's still there. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you think I'm gonna have like a permanent Grim Reaper neighbor or something? Okay, come take a cutting. You have to splice a couple plants. So maybe I'll have you do both. Take a cutting of this and honestly like do it again. <laughs> Is that two? Yeah, okay. We'll hopefully get promoted if you can do this fast enough. There we go. Do it again. No, please. Wait, did it? It used up my graph. I had two of them and now I only have zero. This game, I, you know what, whatever, whatever. I don't care. This is fine. Everyone can just go to school and work. I forgot to have the kids get ready for school. That was my bad. Most of them seem to be fine though. Okay, I think everyone's gonna leave, except Anna. Everyone but Anna is going to leave. Oh, and Gemma learned to pee outside. Oh, good. Okay, that makes life a little bit easier as well. Do you think if I like leave the lot and go spend like, I don't know, an extended period of time not here that the Grim Reaper will go away? <laughs> maybe Anna can like go write some books at the library or something. And then maybe he'll like get the idea. He'll take the hint and then when we get back he won't be there anymore. We are genuinely doing like really terrible at work though so I, I probably should spend all day writing. Oh you finished that already? I feel like you wrote that really quickly. Do it again. Oh no. Oh no. I don't even want to see it. Who is it? Oh it's Tommy. <laughs> we knew it was gonna happen. We knew it was gonna happen. That was Pepper's ex-wife. Uh, the kid's grandparent. This is Blue's grandma basically. Yeah, yeah. Did someone else die? Why is why is the call happening twice? We knew Tommy was going to die and we spent we spent yesterday with Tommy in game. Granted, the day was a little bit tainted cuz Barb died, but Barb's back and then Tommy died straight after. <laughs> Tommy's last day alive was spent 
watching her great granddaughter die. So that's cool. Oh, and Anna finished that second book. We could probably just go home then and publish them. The kids are gonna get home from school soon anyway. All right, cross your fingers. Okay, Grim, please be gone, please. <laughs> I spent like a few hours at the library and wait. Oh, he's gone. Okay, that makes me feel so much better. It was really starting to make me nervous, but the Grim Reaper is gone. Things are looking up in this household. I am feeling a lot less stressed now. Oh, you want me to come see the baby? I can come see the baby. I feel bad because her wife died. This is Blue's aunt that has like 10 kids. I'm pretty sure she got pregnant and then the wife died and then she had the baby. <laughs> Which is really, that that's unfortunate. It, I mean, if it's gonna happen to anybody, it's gonna happen to the Bell family, but it does suck. Is that it? Austin? I don't think so. Is there a baby anywhere? Oh, here it is. Oh, we'll come meet it. I think this one was named Alex. I'm pretty sure I checked. Oh my God. <laughs> Look, this is ridiculous. Okay, once it loads, we should be able to see the baby. Oh, here we go. Timothy, Timothy, I've not seen you yet. Oh, this one's Alex. Wait, so did you have another baby? Bo had a third <laughs> Here I was, I've been talking about this one. This one is Alex. This one, Khalil I haven't seen yet. <laughs> So we've got another grandkid and, and we have Timothy. So that's, wow, okay. I'll come say hi. Oh, here, okay, here's the call. But when I just welcomed home our new baby, yeah. Thank you, that's news to me. I wish you had called before I saw in the family tree. I'll come meet that one too. The family is really growing. It's kind of scary how many bells there are now. And half of it is because of that one Sim that has like 10 kids, but Bo already has three kids too. Hi, little one. Oh, I didn't mean to press age up. Maybe I will though. Actually, I might just let you age up. I mean, you guys don't really have have like space for any toddlers. And I think you have two of them. Should I fix that? Maybe I could give them some toddler beds and I'll get rid of the bassinets. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll place like a second regular bed in here and I'll give them a dollhouse or something so that it feels a little bit more cozy. And then maybe I could well, they don't need toddler beds. They'll age up soon enough. <laughs> they can just have none. Look, I'm, I gotta leave. I met the baby. I said hi. I, I destroyed their house a little bit, but that's fine. I never go in and give my Sims toddler beds. Like for like other Sims, I'm not ever gonna play with their household. They'll be fine. They'll, they'll be okay. Toddlers can sleep on like chairs and stuff in the Sims, like, like the pets can. Oh my God, that sounds really bad. I should have just not acknowledged it. I should have just not touched it. Anyway, oh look, I'm almost home. <laughs> oh wow, we're back, lovely. We can just eat some food and everything's fine. Oh gosh, the kids need to take baths like really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby Belle, go take a bath. And then maybe I should make them do their homework and stuff. It's a, f oh, it's a Friday night. Oh no, you don't need to do your homework tonight. We can do that later. We can go to the park or something. Maybe after you all, ba oh, good going Bryce. You walked in on baby. What is up with that? Okay, Bryce's social is a little bit low and so is, oh, Anna's was low. It's not anymore. How did that happen? Does Bryce gain social from like talking to the dog? Cause maybe I'll do that. And then afterward we can all go to the park and hang out. Okay, there you go. That fixed it. Everybody's pretty much fine aside from the sadness, but that's not really like an unusual thing. That's kind of just how it goes. I think I'll bring the triplets to the playground and we'll see if we can meet some other kids our age. They've got like a million cousins. So <laughs> we've got plenty of people to befriend. I think there should be a couple kids. No, there's no kids here yet. Okay. Well, maybe I can make a club. Please, I need friends. Okay. Requirements, age, child. Let me add my siblings in. I only get three other options though. <laughs> okay, Lila is our cousin. A lot of these people like Dominic and Kyphus and them, those are second cousins, which doesn't make them less important, but there's a bunch of them and I don't know all of their names. So, um, oh, is April a cousin? Or maybe April is our dad's sister or something? Maybe I'll add April. Oh, I have to pick between the other kids. Maybe I'll pick Dominic. <laughs> oh no, I didn't have enough space in the club. Can I cheat for club points? Oops, look, maybe I could cheat and then I can expand the club size a little bit because then I can add like the other cousin <laughs> and maybe somebody else, I don't know. I like the name Kelly, that's cute. So we've got all family and Kelly, great. <laughs> Just perfect. Well, come hang out with me please, because I am lonely. They should all start spawning in. Oh, who's this? Oh, look, he's cleaning up the mess. Oh, and that's a Bell family kid. We raised them well around here. Do you want to befriend him? Talk about, please, I need friends. Yeah, do that. Try that. Oh, here's Sean. This is just a random kid, like not part of the club. Same with Mara. Oh, Mara's not part of the club either. Mara looks cute. 
I want to be her best friend. Can I see what her traits are? I'm gonna go see what her traits are and who her family is. One time I did this and I loaded in and there was nobody else in the household. The kid was alone. Oh no. The kid's gonna be alone soon if Elisa dies. Maybe I should, maybe I should age Elisa down. It loaded me back into the wrong place. I deserve that, but it does not make it any less annoying. You know, I was gonna go age up, but like maybe I shouldn't bother. <laughs> maybe it would be better if I didn't because I don't want to have to go through a loading screen again. Barb here, do you want to make a friend? Maybe I should focus on Barb the most because I feel guilty about like the incident. Maybe I'll like complain about my problem. <laughs> Your problems are a little bit bigger than I think Mara might be equipped to handle, to be honest. I don't know if she's ready to uh, give you advice on, on this situation, but you can try. Talk about favorite animal. I don't know, monkey around or something. Just hang out. Try and please make a friend. Please, please. I want you to have a friend so bad. Okay, it doesn't seem to be going well. Um, no, no, stop, 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 stop. What if we take a selfie? I can't. Is she leaving? Oh God. <laughs> I'm so bad at the Sims. I think it's not entirely my fault. I know they said they fixed the glitch with the Sims being like too mean, but I don't know. They were kind of mean just then. At least the, the kids have each other, you know? Like obviously it's not ideal that I can't make friends, but at least there's three of them and they can all be friends together. That's more friends than my Sims usually have. All right, kids, do you need to eat dinner or something? Here, I got some snacks for you. Let's all come eat. And where is everybody else? The only person who's happy right now is Anthony. <laughs> everybody else is miserable. That's kind of bad. Oh, Blue's swimming. Oh my God, look at the dog. I feel like this is a, not a very good spot to be sitting, to be honest. Like the way that your head is just over the edge of the step is maybe not so good, but you're probably fine. So keep it up, I guess. New quirk emotion bomb. Oh, that reminds me, I need to publish the books that I wrote. Let's come sell both of these from earlier today to the publisher. All right, both of them are out there. We need to write one more bestseller and then max the writing skill. And then Anna will have achieved all of her lifelong goals. And considering she's lived two lives, you'd think I would have finished it faster, but I did not. I never said I was good at this game. <laughs> You've probably caught on to that. Oh no, it's almost their birthday. Two days? Oh geez. Okay. Well, yikes. <laughs> the kids are going to age up soon. Probably next episode. See, this is a nice night. This is peaceful. There's no Grim Reaper here. We can sleep all the way through the night. Oh my god, I need to feed the cow plant in the morning. Please do that. I can't have a third dead cow plant. I just can't. I'm gonna give the dog a treat as well. I don't want the dog to leave me, so I need to make sure I like talk to the dog a couple times a day. Oh, and it's neighborhood brawl day. That's just excellent. Are you serious? You're gonna beat people up? I'll do it. I'll go. Blue, do you want to go to the park later and like beat people up or something? <laughs> Maybe we can take the kids to the park and then while we're there, Blue can engage in some neighborhood brawls. I'll work from home. That seems like a good idea. I have to harvest flowers as my one work from home assignment. Do I even have any to harvest? Most of these things can't be harvested, but I could probably like harvest all of that. Triple check that nothing needs watered. I can water with my tears. No, I'll water everything separately. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this holly in the front needs harvested. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's fine. Who left a sweet corn pizza over here? Oh, look! <gasps> Barb's doing the dishes! Roxanne, you want to get to know Wolfgang Wilder a little better as a friend? Yeah, go for it. Why not? Sounds like fun. Okay, Blue is currently eating an omelet <laughs> while staring at their plants. That's great. Oh, this one's lonely. Here, talk. Don't, I mean, you could fight. Should I have them fight? Bryce and Barb can fight for who is the most stressful child. <laughs> Bryce who got taken away and Barb who died, but both who got undone, okay? Oh dear. I don't think it counts as like anything bad when it's on a holiday. See, they hugged it out, it's fine. It's all fun and games. It's just a, you know, friendly little fist fight. Can you come harvest these, Blue? That should get me, yeah, I finished my work task. That makes me feel a little bit better. Wait, I need to graft onto one more plant for the aspiration. We could probably do that too. I am literally only doing this so that I can get the aspiration done. I don't care about these plants at all. <laughs> there, that's finished. And the last thing we have to do is get level 10 gardening because I already finished growing a cow plant and evolving the plants. So that's pretty good. I wonder if I should buy anything. We could get like the super green thumb. That might be useful. For a person named Blue Bell, it kind of feels appropriate. All right, how are all the kids doing? Like needs wise? Cause I do want to go to the park. I might have them take care of themselves a little bit and then, oh yikes, like take a shower and stuff. You could probably come take a shower up here and then we can all go to the park again. I'd like to have a second chance at making friends. And like I mentioned, I want Blue to go beat people up. So, oh no. Why does the dog always sleep like this? The dog's head is like in the table. Oh my God. God, are you good, Gemma? Are you okay? Doesn't seem like it to me. Here, Blue, do you wanna finish this really fast? Just prune the shape quickly. Oh, it's beautiful. 
And then you could probably pee also. All right, now we can go to the park. I might go to Willow Creek. I spent too much time at that Desert Bloom Park. Maybe I could come over here to this Foundry Cove Park that I built and I'll bring the kids with me. Then I can have them start a little club gathering. And Blue, if you want, you can come brawl people. This Sim's already dazed. Is that bad? <laughs> Is it wrong of me to do this? I mean, the game, it's the game's holiday. I'm not the one who made this up. This is just a regular in-game holiday. Oh, it's Molly Prescott. Oh my God, if anybody deserves to get beat up, it's her. Come on, fight Molly, fight Molly, fight Molly. Oh, is Molly gone? Oh, how about Noah Kane? Fight, 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 fight. This is kind of therapeutic, I think. Oh my God, there's so many kids here. I have to fight again? How many times do you have to fight to get the neighborhood brawl achieved? Are you serious? Oh, this is making me have a really bad reputation as well. Oops. Oh, and I think Noah hates me. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I did beat him up. And we kind of attracted a bit of a crowd, which is a little embarrassing. This sim's name is Denise. Do you want to say hi? I'm kind of trying to have the kids go around and like meet as many of the other kids in town as they can. Oh, the romance festival's in town. Oh, should we go? Maybe Blue and Anthony could have a little bit of a date night. I mean, the only other thing I would do is like sit here at the park and like have the kids play with other kids. And it is nice. There's a lot of kids here to hang out with, but like maybe around six, we can see about going on a little date night. That could be cute. Oh, wait, look. Oh my God, they're all playing basketball. This is exactly what I wanted. The whole club is all, oh, I saw what you did last week. I was there. I saw everything. You're in big trouble. Whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> Are you talking to me? I know that you're calling one of my sims, but are you talking to me? Look, I realize I realized that Barb almost died in a fire, but I fixed it. I fixed it. Hang up. <laughs> Leave me alone. I didn't do anything. It was an accident. All right, it's like six o'clock. I figured I would go home. I heard you have a secret admirer at the romance festival. Should we go try to find them? I have a husband. I'll bring my husband. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Sounds like a party. I don't know. Let's go hunt for the secret admirer. I think that's the second time that Ash has tried to like call us up and like make some comments about like a secret admirer or like a blind date kind of thing. I think Ash is trying to get me to cheat on my husband, which I will have you know, I will not do. Blue already cheated on one person once. We cheated on Rusty. I will not do it again. I can't say that I regret it, but it certainly wasn't like my finest moment. Look, now my aunt is trying to give my number out. What is going on? <laughs> no. Okay, I want to ask the romance guru about like my current relationship and stuff. See if I can get any tea. Love is often found in the place you least expect to look. Okay, but what about my current relationship? What do you think about that? I see, oh, that's the oddest destiny. Well, don't make any plans. Okay, I'm not gonna read into that too much because you know, it's the Bell family. So that could be said of like any one of us. But what I will do is harvest some of these plants. Oh, you can take a cutting of these? Oh, I should definitely do that while I'm here. Cause then I can do some like fun splicing at home of these. Oh, now they're upset about the wisdom. Okay, romantic doom. Why are you sad? This is when we got married. We're like celebrating our wedding anniversary here. You could even renew your vows. Do you want to renew your vows? Just like hang out, renew them in the same place we first said them. That's kind of sweet and it's private. There's not anyone here this time. It's just for us and I'm speeding through it. Sorry, I shouldn't do that. Why are you sad? Oh, shared sadness. Cause blue's sad. That's valid. Oh my God. The eyeball ring. <laughs> Can we pre can we pretend that the eyeball ring is like the ring for the the vow renewal? Cause I kind of love that. Look, we're deeply in love. That's cute. Now what? Should we buy something for dinner? Oh God, we're both kind of smelly too. Here, come get some food. See, oh that's there you go. And Anthony's learning the puffer fish recipe just in case we ever need it. Oh, maybe Blue could buy like a little I don't know snow globe or something. That could be kind of a cute little souvenir from the wedding. I like that. I feel like I'm proud of myself for taking actual steps to like celebrate their relationship because oftentimes I get a little bit too distracted and I sort of forget to do stuff like that. So. It, it's nice that we are doing that now. Also, I forgot Ash was there. <laughs> That's kind of weird. It's almost like we did this whole show of a thing to be like, Ash, stop trying to get me to cheat on my husband. Like I just renewed my vows and made sure that Ash saw just to like get the point across. Here, you can come woohoo. Do not try for a baby though. I'm serious. <laughs> I do not want another baby. I cannot emphasize enough how much I do not want a fourth kid. We already don't have enough space for the three kids that we have. And I am not risking having like twins or triplets again. Everyone to bed. 
bed. Please, I want some peace and quiet. Are they stuck? Oh, I was like, it's not moving very much. <laughs> no, I don't think it's stuck. Okay, we're fine. I was like, please don't get stuck woohooing. That is really just not, not ideal. It's kind of creepy, actually. Okay, go to bed. No, no, take a nap. No, don't nap. Sleep, sleep. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that the next day in game is gonna be the kids' birthdays. So the triplets are going to age up soon. What are you doing? Go back to sleep. The triplets are going to age up soon, which is kind of scary. Post 50 bronze or better social events across all sims. The achievements in this game are so broken. I'm not hosting a social event. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Well, we can host a social event. Maybe tonight in game, like Sunday night, we could have a little birthday party for the kids. I'll probably do that next episode and we'll just like play up until then today. But we can try and have like a nice real birthday party for them. We've got friends that we can invite as well. Well, you know, friends are kind of a strong word, but we have a club that we can invite. <laughs> we can invite all these kids over. Oh God, he's peeing on the fire toilet. Oh, we're fine. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I really don't want to fire right now. We've made it through this whole part with zero fires and I'd like to keep it that way. It's really weird how that happens sometimes. How like sometimes there's so many and sometimes there's none. Like last week, someone literally died in a fire and then today we've had zero. How? I'm not complaining. It is fine. Okay, kids, if you want to take care of all your needs, you can come get some food and stuff. Oops, don't order delivery. We don't need pizza at 6 a.m., believe it or not. Promoted a stem cutter. Oh, good job, Blue. That's awesome. Oh, we have work. Should we go? No, let's work from home. Gift a flower arrangement. Oh, that's kind of a cute thing to have to do. Yeah, I don't think I want to go into work today because it's going to be the kids' birthdays. We can just work from home. It's better this way. Oh, maybe I can gift the flower arrangement to grandma. We can give it to Anna. That'd be cute. I need to get my gardening skill up too while we're here, but we can just spend some time like watering the plants or whatever today. You know what? Are any of the kids are down here? Do you want to like pet the dog? I don't want the dog to leave me, <laughs> so can you play with it or something? Okay, I should be able to give this flower arrangement as a gift. Gift, flower arrangement gift. I've got this winter's breath. I think you'll like it. I got paid for that. <laughs> so easy. And then maybe Anna can display it. It is the first day of winter in game, so that's kind of like a cute little Easter egg. Kids, how are you doing? All your needs are like pretty much fine. I was gonna have them like, I don't know, work on skills or something, but is there really any point if they're gonna age up today? Maybe I still should. Cow plant is hungry? Okay. Maybe we can work on some chemical reaction volcanoes. How about that? Uh, Anthony, do you want to feed the cow plant before it dies? Thank you. And then kids, it is time for us to get some skills, all right? Get to work. Happy birthday. <laughs> Here's some homework. You know what? It just said the flea market was in town. Maybe we could go there and like pretend to buy the kids something for their birthdays. I used to always do this when this pack first came out and it's kind of been a while since I did, but they sell like cute collectibles and stuff. Oh, we could also get posters maybe because the kids might like those. This one's kind of pretty. You know what else? We don't really get to see a lot of snow in like Oasis Springs, obviously. So this is a good excursion. Uh, just a little hint of snow. That one's kind of cute also. Okay, we've got a couple good posters. I actually have that one in my room. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's like really blurry in the background, but that poster behind me, that is that same in-game poster. They gave me those at a Sims event like years ago when City Living first came out, but I have always had them behind me as my background. It's kind of cool. They're like a little Easter egg. I think maybe this candle could be a fun gift. This little robot might be kind of a cute gift. Oh, they're selling toys. Oh my gosh, we could buy like a lump of clay. Play, maybe the future cube, bubbles, voodoo doll. Oh, I feel guilty because they're gonna be teens. They aren't even gonna want toys anymore. Should I just buy all of them and then bring them home for them to play with right now? <laughs> because like, we're not gonna need them after today. Maybe I will just go give them to them right now. Here, kids, do you want a bunch of toys? I'm gonna force you to play with them as well. I don't think they've done much playing as children. I kind of um, forgot about that. So this is good. They get like one day. Oh, and it's raining. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll keep the rest of the gifts in my inventory for now, but maybe I'll give some of the toys to them so that they can start playing. Here, Barb, do you want to play with like this robot? Do you want to play with this little guy? Do you want to play with this dragon? Oh, see, that's kind of cute. That was probably a waste of money, but I've got plenty of money. We might as well do something fun with it. And you know what? I think on that note, I might end this part right here. Next week, I'll have the kids age up. We'll have a big birthday party. We'll invite like everybody over and stuff. That might not be a good idea because usually when I invite people over, bad things seem to happen. I mean, as evidenced by last week when Barb literally died. I'm sorry, I gotta stop. I gotta stop thinking about it. It's just making it worse. I'm really sorry, Barb. Oh, and now Barb's like playing in the rain. With our luck, she's gonna get struck by lightning or something. <laughs> I need to save my game just to be safe. Okay, but like I said, on that note, I am gonna stop and I will catch you all tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bye, everybody.
Oh no, and Anna's probably gonna age up next week too. Anna's gonna be an elder and then she's gonna die. I just, I just don't wanna deal with this. I can't have her die again, but I also can't like have her be a ghost again. That's ridiculous. 